In this video, I will show you how to install the PS4 self-host menu or we can say it offline or case mode by Livewool on firmware 6.72. So, let's get started. You need a PS4 console with firmware 6.72. No more, no less. But if you have a PS4 with firmware 5.05, stay at that firmware for the time being because the jailbreak payload is perfect and you can play any downported game on that firmware. So this is my PS4 with firmware 6.72. Now go back, then choose automatic download and make sure to uncheck all the options. Go back, then choose network. Select connect to the internet. Then select setup internet connection. Pick any option, but I choose a LAN cable. And choose easy. Then test the internet connection. Now go back to the main screen and open the web browser. Open the Liful GitHub page, then you will see some files on it. In this video, I tried the 6.72 self-host version 6. So click that file and download it to your computer. Open the downloaded archive with WinRAR or ZevonZip. Then extract it into a folder. Open the folder and its subfolder. And run the exploit host server. When you are prompted by the Windows Defender firewall, press allow access. Type in the given URL to the PS4 web browser. So go ahead, enter the URL here. And if you set it up correctly, you will see the exploit menu. It says we need to close the browser and reopen it, so let's do it. And let's test the payload. In this video, we will only talk about the exploit and homebrew enabler. So I will select load exploit and hand together. And at the same time, let's find out its stability or its load successful percentage. The first attempt is good. Let's get back to the main screen and try running a game. The game loaded perfectly. Let's close the game and turn off the internet connection, as we don't need it anymore. Now let's restart the console and continue with the test. We open the web browser. And load the same payload. Second attempt, nothing happened, so I assume it failed to run the payload. I reloaded the web browser, and guess what? The console crashed and restarted by itself. Let's continue. Third attempt, Failed. Let's reboot the console. Again, let's load the same payload. The fourth attempt is good. Let's reboot the console. The fifth one is good too. And the sixth attempt is okay.
we have a good result here. The seventh attempt is good. The eighth one is bad. And again, we have a bad result. The ninth one is bad. In my case, the success rate is only 50%. So the conclusion is, the payload is not stable at all. But I'm sure it will get better and better. Thanks for watching this short video. Stay tuned and stay fit.